Hi, this is Justin from Achar Productions. In this video, I want to show you a really cool customer project created with N5. This project was created by Dave Hickey, who works at the English Department at University of Prince Edward Island. He did this as a digital public humanities project about Lucy Maud Montgomery's interest in astronomy and the night sky. David created the layout and the interactivity in InDesign, exported with N5. Dave then used an app called Kiosk Pro to load this into an iPad so it would work offline. Dave shared a version of this project with me so I could record this video from the iPad simulator. Here's a screen from the app that shows Dave and his other colleagues who contributed to this project. And even this page has a little bit of playfulness. Get to the home screen and we'll be able to click on one of these eight items. That'll take me to one of these screens. Each one starts out with some nice subtle animation. And then I'll scroll down. All of these are tall pages. So this app is really designed to engage you and get you interacting with it. You can see as I'm swiping that this animation actually changes. This is part of an image sequence overlay in InDesign. And there's even kind of a surprise image that pops up at the end of that sequence. There are multi-state objects that allow you to change what's on screen by tapping. And if I keep scrolling down, you can see there is a tab drawer here that I can pull out. This tab is really just a horizontal scrolling frame, but the way it's set up, it really functions like a kind of drawer that you can pull out and slide back in. And another piece of interaction is a back to top button, and that'll jump back up to the top of the article. And then I can use the home button to go back to the first screen. From here, I'll click on another section, see the animation, and there's some beautiful typography as I scroll through. And there's another one of these sequences that I can swipe across and get this cool animation. So another sliding drawer. I'll skip down ahead and show you this 3D flip card. This is really simple to set up with InDesign and N5. It's a two-state object, and then you just hit a checkbox in one of the N5 dialogs, and it flips over in 3D space. There's also this really neat menu at the bottom, which is also a pull tab, but it moves vertically. So you can pull up those eight orbs to navigate right from here. This page is another cool multi-state object, so you can click on each of these. There's a nifty little animation playing in each one of these. And jumping to another page, you can see a completely different use of a multi-state object. This one takes an individual image and shows you different times of day by clicking on the clocks. Here's a really cool effect of the three drawers layered on top of each other. And here's my favorite of the opening section animations. Just beautiful illustration of a night sky with the constellations appearing. And show you a little bit more of this article. Here again, we have the ability to change the appearance, to learn something more by tapping on something. It keeps the information from being overwhelming, so you can really focus on one thing at a time, but there are these nice layers to this design. And here you can see kind of a more standard scrolling frame, so this scrolls the text up and down. And here's another swiping effect, and I gotta say, I think this one is really cool. It's a book in 3D, and as the book opens up, these things kind of pop out of it and some more cool 3D flip cards. Ability to reveal text behind images. And again, just another one of these cool animations that's triggered by swiping on the screen. Here we have a 3D flip card that also has a different set of text on the back. So all in all, just a really cool piece that people got to interact with directly. Thanks so much for walking through this example with me. If you're interested in seeing more customer examples like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.